Hello, I am here with Lisa Massad with New Medical. Hello, Lisa. Hi, nice Thank to meet you. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. I would love to hear about your products. We have a scar product line, and we also have products for swelling and bruising post-procedure. Okay. And kind of become more of a post-procedural company. Kind of once you've done all of the procedures, you've had the surgery, you've had the injectables, we're the ones that go home with you. And okay. so we will help prevent the bruising and swelling. We will help make sure that scar stays manageable because now the big thing in the industry is all about scar prevention. Uh -huh. Before, years ago, what would happen is that they would say, oh, we'll see how it's going. And then all of a sudden you realize you've got this thick red scar and now you have to try and fix it or you have to have it cut out and redone again, which is a whole nother surgery. And no so, one wants that. No, nobody wants that. <laughs> so what the, the industry standard is now, and it's been recommended by the International Clinical Recommendations on Scar Management, Management, is to actually use a silicone product to actually prevent that bad scar from forming because they okay. even said in the in the latest guidelines that were published in the plastic surgery journals is that you want to prevent 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 because it is way easier to prevent than it is to try and fix once it's already happened so we have probably the widest variety of products for that scarring we have both topical formulas which is hundred percent silicone gel okay. you can feel how silky it feels like um, yeah it feels like a makeup primer almost like a um, Smashbox yes, primer. Yes. It feels really nice. It's not shiny. It's not greasy. So people really, really like to use that. So you would put this on after surgery on the scar? Right. Usually about seven to ten days afterwards once you have that, once it's closed, on once any stitches okay. come out, then you would use it twice a day. Okay. And um, you would use it for a period of up to about three months. And by using that, it's it's kind of neat how silicone works. Okay. It doesn't penetrate into your skin. It doesn't get absorbed in. It stays on the surface. Yeah, I can, and what you can that, still see it's yeah, still on. And what that does is it helps prevent excessive water loss from your skin and by doing that it tricks your body into thinking everything's normal you know and everything's okay. cool under there and so it treats it like normal skin not like we have a scar Let's and we need to send collagen and all these different things in there to fix it okay. which makes it kind of get thicker and, and raised so wow. it's great in that there's no systemic involvement it doesn't get absorbed it's very safe um, and it's been proven it's been used since the 1980s on scars okay. and it's been the number one recommended for both scar prevention and primary treatment so I have a couple scars on me though. <laughs> Can I use this now that my scars have already been healed or is it really after the surgery? No, if you have a scar, you know, there are clinical studies that show scars as much as four years old that have benefited from okay. using it. And what it is is that it depends on the type of scar. Because people will ask me, well, what about this scar? And it's a flat white scar. Uh -huh. And flat white scars, you can't really do much for them, unfortunately. Um, but if it is raised at all, if it's red or discolored still, um, or if it's like kind of feels hard underneath the skin, if any of those are, are the case, then yes, it this can definitely help. help. Okay. And then we also have the same product with SPF 30. Oh, and wow. the great thing about, oh, it matches your dress beautifully. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew, I planned. The nice thing about our SPF product is that it's zinc oxide. It is no oh. chemical sunscreens, which can I has try been. try some of that? Absolutely. And okay. it doesn't stay white, which we've really worked on getting a micronized zinc oxide so it will blend right in. That's so and that you guys thought of everything. We try, <laughs> you know, that's, that's what we tried to do. We, you know, you want to make something that that is as usable for a patient yes. as possible. Okay. And part of the reason why this has a sunscreen is it's known that any scar that's exposed to the sun, it has a detrimental effect on yes. the outcome. Um, and because it's such immature skin in that scar, it overreacts and it produces hyperpigmentation, which huh. is even a whole nother thing yes. besides just the redness. Yes. So any place that you have an exposed scar, faces, arms, okay. hands, feet, legs, any this place that's in the sun, that's the would one you, you recommend go to. doing this and then also doing a sunscreen or no we do you just need this you if just on your scar you would use this on the rest of your body you would use uh, a sunscreen but yes. this is because people will say oh I will use the sunscreen and this but then when the rubber hits the road they tend to use one or the other okay, so this and so this kind of yeah, one yeah it's two in one so okay. you don't have to do two things oh my goodness yeah that's so great and I then the it. last way that we we treat scars and this is great for an existing thicker scars this is a silicone strip and it's got fabric on the back and it's self-adhesive and it just goes right over the scar and it helps flatten and soften and you can feel how sticky that is yeah the great thing about it for tummy tucks for c-sections anything that's down here uh -huh. your pants rub against it your, you know everything pushes on it and it makes the scar really uncomfortable so it's not even just about scar appearance it's about scar comfort, comfort yes. yeah i know so many people that have had c-sections well, had anything yeah. you just want to want it to heal and you just want almost like 
like with my children, you want to put a band aid on. Exactly. It, right? it feels vulnerable. You know, yes. you, you walk around like this. And so when you have this on, it feels like it's giving it some substance. It feels it's, there's, it's definitely thick enough to cushion it. And so it just gives you a little bit of more peace of mind about it. Okay. Plus, and a bonus is it helps make your scar look better. Oh, yeah. So. So, that, so would you recommend putting on your gel and then putting that over it? You don't want to do both of them at the same time okay. because if you put this on first, this won't stick to it. But what a lot of people do is do one of them for 12 hours and the other. So say, okay. you know, this was someplace Sleep visible. While you're sleeping. Okay. Yeah, so say people that have like a brachioplasty where they have the excess skin removed under their arms, the old bus driver or bat wings. Um, it can show if you put a strip all the way down. So they may use this when they're home or at night and then use just the gel during the day. Great. And then we also, these come in, we have a breast shapes, we have mini strips, oh, we have, yeah, shapes. you name it. We even have a little round sphere for belly buttons for people who have had tummy tucks to hold it open and give it a nice shape. I love it. Yeah. That's so amazing. And then the last, we always, we, we kind of laugh about our, this product. It's an oral Arnica bromelain complex okay. and a topical Arnica and vitamin K product and this will help with any bruising and swelling after procedures not just you know big surgical procedures but lip injections you know the one thing everybody says is I don't want my husband to know that I had this done so this is a great way to help speed up the resolution or prevent any bruising and swelling so would you take occur. this before you have the procedure or well, if it's um, a surgery I would say you want to start the day of and the same thing with fillers more or less I don't okay. know that you really need to, I don't the clinical studies don't show a huge advantage of taking it uh, earlier and my philosophy is the less, you know, it, when you're, if you're going under anesthesia, the less in you, yeah. <laughs> the better. So starting immediately after, and okay. it works, seems to work really well. In fact, we have a lot of the women who have had lip injections say about three days of using it and they're good to go. Wow. And there's seven days worth in a bottle. Okay. So then you have enough for the next, next time you time. go in. Yeah, <laughs> so. that's great. And did you guys receive award, an award today? Yes, we actually have received it. We were blessed to receive several awards. Oh we, my gosh, yes, congratulations. Thank you. We won for st uh, SCAR product and we want one for medical nutraceutical for our oral uh, arnica bromelain complex. Oh my goodness. So yes, yeah, so we were pretty happy to have the, the full the, you know, the Yeah, full thing. I mean you have yeah. it. Obviously you're doing an amazing job and are excelling and we're, I'm so excited for you guys. And our doctors, like everything between our packaging and the materials that we give them to share with the patients, you know, it all has to look, doesn't want to look too much like medicine, you know? And Everybody it feels says, nice, I mean, on my skin. It was great. It's, I mean, I can see why you won an award. You guys are oh, doing great. You. Yeah. Are you doing a talk today as well? We have Sheila Nazarian. Uh, she's going to be speaking for us on the Nazarian way to treat scars. And okay. uh, she uses all of our products, especially our sheeting products, post surgically uh, oh, in her great. practice as well. So, oh, that's so yeah, that'll be exciting tomorrow to have her talk for us. I love it. Well, thank you so much for staying with me and just explaining a little bit of what you guys are offering. And definitely check out their products and get yourself one if you are in the market for it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. For more information about Syllogen products, please contact us at www.syllogen.com or you can follow us on social. Our Instagram is at Syllogen Scar Refinement and you'll find a lot of information on there.